What's up everyone, it's your boy Nolan Rad 89 here bringing you another video for today's video. It's gonna be a very special one. I got a Vinegar Syndrome order of a release for a 4K and I'm so excited to show you off a showcase, unbox it, kind of show you what's inside of it, all the special features, all the cool packaging of this film. And also this is gonna be talking about my feelings on the film as well because I think this is highly underrated. This is a serious cult classic right here and today we're gonna to talk about the Showgirls 4K release from Vinegar Syndrome. You're gonna hear all my thoughts and feelings on the film because I have a lot of history with this movie. And like I said, we're gonna unpackage this bad boy and look at what's inside. So stay tuned. Roll it. So first, I kind of wanted to just go over my feelings on the film and what I think of this movie in terms of how I feel on it. Like I said, this came out in 1995. Paul Verhoeven directed this film and it stars Elizabeth Berkley, Gina Gershon, and so many others. Kyle MacLachlan's in here as well. So, so many fabulous cast members. And this is one of those films that for me is a prime example of a film that was ahead of its time. So when this came out in 95, I don't think fans as a general populace were ready for this type of film. And what this film is, is just heavy diving into the exploitation of places like Las Vegas and what you can do with, like I said, just everything that happens there in terms of gambling, in terms of, you know, sexual stuff, everything. All that kind of stuff is digested and gone through in this film. And I love that as this is a key film of showing you like Elizabeth Berkeley plays Nomi, who is a girl who comes across, you know, traveling to Vegas looking for her next big break, you know what I mean? That next big part of her life. And she's this cool character because you don't necessarily get her background. She's kind of like that wanderer type character, almost like those Clint Eastwood spaghetti westerns. Like she's just a wanderer. You don't really know too much about her background, but you're kind of invested in this character because you know she's tough. You know she's, you know, on her own. And then she goes to Vegas and things ensue where she ends up becoming a showgirl. And it shows you how, you know, climbing to the top and getting to stardom isn't always the cleanest thing to do. And it might not be what you really want. You might think, oh, and yourself, when you see it, you're like, oh, I want to be a star. I want to be on the posters. I want to be the lead lady. And then come to find out when Elizabeth Berkley's character Nomi gets to that top spot, yeah, she realizes that it's not something that she really wants and she discovers more about herself. So for me, this is a film that I've had a lot of time, a lot of history with. I discovered this at a very young age, probably an age that I shouldn't even been watching this film, but my mom, like she was a very progressive mom and she would let me watch, you know, really risque and, you know, progressive films at a young age because they were movies and I just fell in love with cinema and she clearly made me know, you know, these are movies and all that kind of stuff. So I never had that aspect. But for me, this is a very strong film in terms of sexual stuff. So if you're not into that and you're not into anything like that, that this is not going to be up your alley for sure. And I think that's why a lot of people kind of gravitated away from this film in terms of, like I said, the general populace, because this is a movie that has an NC-17 rating. And that's mainly because of the content, because of the nudity and because of all the, you know, stuff that they talk about in this film and the way they go about executing it. And I think this is a movie that clearly has, like I said, a really strong theme at the center of it. And another huge reason why I love this film is this film's not afraid to push the boundaries. And I love that it's dirty, it's grimy, and it's realistic. And I like that aspect of the movie that all the characters, all the people in this movie feel like actual people that would live in Vegas. They have the clear cut, you know, ways about them. And I love that, you know what I mean? There's some actors and actresses in here that are definitely better than the others. And you can tell when you're watching the film, but in terms of just the characters, the tone, the setting, everything, they really captured what it was like in Vegas. And I think like that's why I said this film is one of those ones that became a cult classic because when this film came out, this was a complete flop. And Paul Verhoeven and the writer of this film were coming off the success of Basic Instinct. So everybody kind of thought that this was going to be a banger, a hit, because ba Basic Instinct was like the biggest film in the early 90s. And then come to find out 95 happened, they dropped this and this was a complete flop because like I said, I don't think people were necessarily ready for a film like this that was just right up in your face. It was grimy, it was dirty, but it was also sexual. It was also beautiful and had a really strong 
you know, character arc throughout it, and I like that, you know what I mean? Elizabeth Berkley might not be the greatest actress, but she does the role well, and I think what she did in this film was they, Paul Verhoeven and them told her to go over, you know, overact, go campy with it, because when you watch the special features on this, the writer even says that they went very campy with this film, and that was something that they wanted to do, but he felt like sometimes they kind of went overboard, but for me, this is a film that is a perfect 10 out of 10 and I know this isn't going to be a perfect 10 out of 10 for everybody but for me the reason why it is is because I wouldn't change a thing. I know there's things and negatives about this. I can look at this with different eyes and more critical eyes and be like oh this is bad or the third act rushes a little bit or you know the acting is not as quite tight right here or anything like that or runtime. I think to be honest this film could have been about 10-15 minutes longer and it would have actually helped it but as an enjoyment factor, as how much I grew up with this film and how much I love this film, it is a 10 out of 10 because, like I said, there isn't a damn thing I would change about this film. And once you take this ride, it's a ride that you'll never forget. And like I said, Showgirls is a film that I highly recommend. It's currently streaming on Tubi for free if you want to check it out, but this is a release that, you know, people must have been asking themselves, like, why, why do we need Showgirls on 4K? No, we absolutely fucking needed this on 4k because it looks freaking gorgeous and stick with me now because now we're gonna go over the contents of this bad boy show it off and everything and kind of unbox it so let's get to that so now like i said let's go over this bad boy and highlight this release let's just show you off right there that's the front of your box get a nice good look at it the side of your box right there and then there's your back part and as you can see this is a very thick hard case right there nice little pink section and black right there and it opens up like this it's got this nice little tab you pull up and it opens up and let me show you this bad boy the inside first let's go over like the inside and i'll show you what is inside of it <laughs> let's put that right there all right so i have to be careful with what i show you yeah i think everything in here is legit i can show you all the stuff in here <laughs> Alrighty, so there you go. That's your inside of the box. Like I said, it has this nice little sleeve. Posters for like the advertisements of the show and everything like that. And then also this right here is a flyer that one of our characters leaves, Nomi. It's a guy who knows he loves dancing and he loves making his own numbers and dance numbers and he tries to write one for her. And he puts on a show and stuff and that's like James Smith and this is the poster. So it's really cool that that's like in the box, you know what I mean? So... And it has like that magnet kind of clip case so you can see it magnets clips with that nice little sleeve to open it up and everything. So now let's show you off this right here. And yeah, I believe I could show you all this stuff. I have to be careful with what I show you because of what's on here and everything. But here is your front right there. And this is the new redone artwork. And there's the back part. And this is your slip cover. And like, look at these colors. It's just freaking fantastic. Like, oh my God. Like, I love this. Vinegar Syndrome is just proving time and time again that they really are going for it. And then here's your original cover art right there. And then your back part with the specs and everything and all that kind of stuff. Oh, man. Like, for real. This, they, re, they outdid themselves. And this is the 4K Ultra HD, but it also has two Blu-rays with it. The movie, you get the Blu-ray on the movie and the 4K. And then the second disc has all new, like, special features, but also some archival footage as well. So, and now we'll show you the, the discs right there. We've got one disc that has, that's the 4K. And then your two other discs, the Blu-ray and the second disc, that's all the special features. And there's some other special features, too, and everything on the 4K as well, but... Oh man, like for real, this is one of those films that just, it's criminally messed up how this wasn't popular when it first came out. Because when you watch this film, you can tell by the costume designing, the choreography, the acting, the like writing, everything. That people put a lot of time and effort into this movie. And it's just, it's really is such a shame that it took a long time before this became a cult classic. And this also came with, I believe this is a 40-page booklet, but let me show you. I have to show you right here, right there. Boom, boom. There's your booklet all the way open. Oh, man, like for real. It's just fantastic, and it's got such a nice feel to it, too. It's not like that cheap paper or anything like that. Like, it's very, very well done. It feels nice. I have to look at the pictures first before I show you just to make sure and everything. <laughs> so, yeah, like for real, this 
book has all kinds of writings on it from different people and stuff like that and stuff about the movie surviving in the world populated by assholes you know what I mean? like i love that quote that quote is amazing and this film has genuine hilarious moments of comedy and everything and like it's just one of those films that is so potent for me because it lands in a lot of areas it's very serious it has a campy comedic tone it's got amazing production design beautiful women like you can't complain about that we got beautiful women in here like Gina Gershon who plays Crystal I feels she's probably my favorite character in the movie because her and Nomi they mirror each other a lot and you can see how Crystal's trying to kind of teach her ways about, you know, climbing to the top as a showgirl, but also kind of being a frenemy at the same time, you know, being an enemy. So it's just, it's really cool, this, like, release. And I'm so happy that I picked this up and re-watching it, checking out the special features. And there is new stuff. Like I said, there's new special features on here on that new disc. And it's fantastic to just go through them and really digest it. And like I said, Vinegar Syndrome just really showing, outdoing themselves, you know, showing that they are here to stay in terms of what they're putting out there in content. And yeah, this is one of those releases that I'm so happy to own. There's actually a fantastic DVD release of this too that comes with like sh more accessories in terms of like shot glasses. It comes with pasties and actual showgirls playing cards and stuff. And that's a DVD box thing. But this is a fantastic upgrade, like I must say, because this is 4K. You get new special features on here and the care that they took with putting together that booklet this box, everything, the presentation, it's just so, so gorgeous. So this is one I highly recommend. I picked this up on the Vinegar Syndrome sale, but I believe I got it for, it was like 48 bucks. It was like right under 50 and then like, you know, tax with delivery and everything and all that kind of stuff. But yes, this is a release that I highly, highly recommend. If you're considering dropping some money on this, I totally say do it, do it now, because this is one that I can see being a very rare one, you know, one that will sell out and stuff, because it's got a lot of special edition qualities to it in the box, everything, and like I said, in terms of a movie, you already got my kind of feelings on it. It's a 10 out of 10 film for me, and I know that there's some content in here that is very kind of frowned upon and stuff that people like if, you know, if like SA, sexual assault stuff is very frowned upon, and if you're not into that, then there's a scene in here that is very graphic, but it's not long. It's not like a long scene, but it's meant for, I like it because it's not for just the purpose of being there for gro grotesque, gratuity in nature. It's there for the purpose of our main character realizing that no, where she's going and what's happening, it's hurting the people around her and she needs to understand that. And like I said, it pushes her character forward and everything. So yeah, this film for me, it's like, I can't talk about it enough and stress enough that this is one that you just, you need to check out for real. And even it's, it's a film that I would say, I know it's not for everyone, but it's that film that everyone needs to watch at least once. That's like how I feel about this film. Everyone needs to see this film at least once just to see it. And I know like everyone's not gonna like it, but there are a lot of people out there that do. And like I said, you're gonna hear a lot of glowing recommendations from me. And Vinegar Syndrome, beautiful. Thank you so much for putting this out, for taking the time and effort to put in this quality and care to this release. But thanks for sticking around with me all for this video of going over Showgirls, the 4K release. Let me know down in the comment section, are you familiar with this film? Are you a fan of this film? Or have you never heard of it, never seen it? And I hope you go check it out because Paul Verhoeven, he's a great director too. He did, you know, Robocop, Starship Troopers, Basic Instinct. He's popular for a lot of films. And I think Showgirls is one of those ones that's criminally underrated. So go check it out if you haven't. Like I said, it's currently streaming on Tubi for free. Be sure to like, like, subscribe, and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post other videos. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.